Ooh, Gemini, no place like home. Some of you will be moving into a new home, spending more time at home with family. Some of you may be looking for a new home and you're going to have luck in finding that new home. Um, I do feel like some of you are moving in with a partner. Some of you are actually moving in, like moving into a new literal home. If not, you're going to be spending a lot more quality time with family members or at home in April of 2022. But I'm going to clarify this after I get the rest of the cards out. Let's take a look. What else do we have for Gemini? April 2022. We got to be fair. This is the card of balance. It's the card of Libra. Some of you may be involved with the Libra, but I feel like overall, some things are going to be made right in April for you guys. Okay. If you've been having issues with people, situations, or things, I feel like the balance is coming in to make things right. Okay. Um, those of you that are going to be dealing with anything that's court related, this is an indication that it's going to work in your favor. Okay. But I am going to clarify these. The focus is going to be balance in the month of April. Security, definitely security and balance between these two cards. Spending time with family, spending time at home, spending time renewing the home, remodeling the home, however it resonates because home is a focus. Um, and then balance, finding that inner balance, but also things being made right. I'll clarify those after. Let's take a look. What else do we have for Gemini? <laughs> Gemini, you guys got a soulmate. So a lot of you, if you're in separation with this person, you will be hearing from this person. Others of you, you have a very strong possibility of meeting your soulmate in April. This is a card of the perfect match, the perfect person for you. Sometimes there's love pains involved. This is a sad soulmate. Sometimes somebody is missing you. Your soulmate is missing you. There may have been some pain involved in this connection. Others of you, if it's not and there's uh, and you're with this person, then things are going to be going really well with your soulmate. Take it how it resonates, but it's a strong month for you to meet your soulmate. And if you've already met this person and you're in separation, you will be hearing from this person. But again, I will be clarifying it. If they've wronged you in any right way, they will be trying to make things right. Some of you are going to be moving in with your soulmate, clearly. Okay. Let's take a look and see. What else do we have for Gemini for April 2022? Ooh. Scorpio just got this. Flexible. So in April, you're going to need to be flexible. This means that things are going to be popping up that maybe you weren't expecting. <laughs> Okay. Some of you that are moving into a new home, you got to be flexible. You got to do a lot of things. Some of you that are, if you're dealing with a difficult soulmate or it's been a little challenging in the past, you're being asked to be a little bit flexible. Okay. Clearly this card points to the fact that there could be sudden events that ca catch you off guard that you got to be, um, prepared for, or maybe you're getting schedules moved around or things, or people are pressing you. Just be flexible, okay, in April is, is clearly what this card is about. It's going to benefit you to be. And for some of you, if you're dealing with a stubborn soulmate, try to be a little flexible with them, okay? Just a little. What else do we got? Ooh, we got fork in the road. So this is about coming to a turning point in your life where every choice leads in a different direction. Some of you might have a choice that you need to make. That could change and alter your fate, your life, the direction of your life that it's going. I feel like some of you, okay, and it's different for all of you because you all have your planets in different places. The time is going to be different and it's all different situations. You're not all involved in the same thing. But I feel like some of you are going to have to choose between a few, two different jobs. Some of you are trying to find a location and you're trying to figure out where to go. Some of you may have something come up with this soulmate person that may change the path of which direction this relationship is going to go. But whatever it is, you're going to be at a point where you're like, I need to make a choice. And, and if I do this, it's going to go there. So I see you foreseeing things like looking at if I do this, this happens. If I do that, that happens and trying to evaluate the best possible choice. But, you, but it's going to be ultimately positive regardless of what choice you make is what I just clearly heard one more for Gemini's please and then we'll start clarifying all 
All right, we got the tribe. Yep. You guys are going to start socializing and meeting people of like minds, okay? You're going to start feeling like, wow, I'm getting, I feel like you're maybe meeting more people that have this, share the same interests of you, that are more supportive of you, kind of finding your click. If not, you're going to be spending more time with your friends. Others of you, I feel like this is definitely related to the soulmate. This person is just like you, that you guys have so much in common. You, you work well, really, really well together you have a lot of similarities it doesn't mean it's always smooth but it feels like home to you and i'm getting that with this home the soulmate the whole thing going on okay but maybe there was some imbalances and a lack of flexibility but there's going to be some big choices coming up but i feel overall the energy is going to be of this like you just feel like you're in the flow with people People are more supportive. People are more like you. People are supportive of you, like encouraging you. They're just, there's a lot of similarities coming in here, clearly. So let's go ahead and clarify. <laughs> let's take a look at this. No place like home for Gemini, please. Some of you were cut out by somebody, definitely, or cut, or maybe you felt defeated in a situation regarding a soulmate, okay? But that's going to turn around. But definitely, some of you are buying a new home. Some of you are buying a new home with this no place like home. Some of you are going to be repairing, upgrading, spending more time adding things to the home. It's really, really strong. But definitely... Others of you are moving in with your soulmate, getting married, and moving into a home. It's going to be different for all of you, okay? Because I definitely got the justice here with the soulmate and reaping the rewards with the home. But I feel like some of you felt like you have somebody that you have a very close connection with. That you had, some of you got in separation. You cut each other out. However that worked. Sharp words were said. Somebody felt defeated. Or somebody cut you out. There was something that happened there, but that looks like that's going to be getting repaired and being made right because they want to be fair and they want to be balanced with you, but, and it looks like it's going to turn into a long-term commitment. Some of you will be moving in with this person for sure. Okay. But others of you are moving into a home or buying a home. I know. It's different for all of you, but you found your dream home or you're reaping your rewards on your new home. Others of you are just making home improvements and spending more time with home, at home. Yes, let's check out your soulmate. What's going on with the soulmate? Uh, okay, remember, those of you that don't have a soulmate, you have a very strong possibility of meeting your soulmate in April. Those of you that have one, you're separated. I definitely see them coming in here, okay? Gemini soulmate. Yeah, okay. Whoa. They are going to be reaching out and contacting you if you're in separation. They want to start something new with you. Some of you, for sure, are going to be meeting your soulmate in April. It's a new start. Tell me about this one. It's definitely been stressful or heavy for you guys, okay? For them. If you're in separation, this person has been like, they're, they're, they've been going through a lot, okay? They've been going through a lot and they definitely want to start things new with you. This is if you're already involved with this person, okay? Or they really stressed you out, okay? But I see them wanting to start new. They want to, they want to be more balanced and fair with you, clearly. And if you haven't met this person and you've been really desperately wanting to... They're coming in, okay? Again, these are general readings. It's different for all of you. Tell me about this. Whoa, okay. 
Some of you, it's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or this person is successful and stable, okay? They've been blocked in some way, and they haven't really been moving things forward. Um, they're trying to decide on... They were trying to decide on something. I feel like they didn't know... They don't know how to... Literally, for some of you, this person didn't know what to say if you've been separated with them. They didn't know, they don't know what to say. But they're going to be coming in and offering you something more stable. If you were involved with this person, okay? They don't have to be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Sun, Moon, or Rising. But for some of you, it is. But this person is more slower moving. Okay? Slower moving. They're worried about their finances. They're worried about... they Not worried about it because I see them as being stable. But if they're not stable financially, they're concerned about being financially stable. There's somebody that cares about money and stability. Okay. Yeah, they definitely been concerned about their money. Okay, we got the four of pentacles. And I feel like for some of you, this person's been saving up for something for you. Okay, take it out resonates because it's different for all of you. But I definitely see somebody saving up or because I just got another message too. some of you this person hasn't been very generous with you but they're gonna be more generous it, you're not all involved with the same person thank God there's a lot of different people and some of you this person was holding out not being very generous with you okay others of you this person is stable financially stable but they've been trying to decide on how to communicate with you and what to say clearly if you this is your soulmate and you're in separation Okay, but there's a big turnaround of events coming and it's a brand new start coming through for you and your soulmate. However, those of you that haven't met this person, they are coming in. Okay, and they see you as as everything. They, 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 they see you as a woman or man that's got it all. Okay, and they really want to be successful with you. They really want to. Yeah, you guys are going to meet your soulmate if you haven't already, for sure. Those of you that have been dealing with separation from one, they want to make things right with you clearly and they want to be more balanced. Those of you that were dealing with a stingy one, they want to be more generous. Those of you that maybe were separation, they were stressed out because they really wanted more stability. They've been working towards their stability and now they finally got it and now they're the, the king. Okay. And some of you, they were working to plan for something for you. This is very interesting. Maybe to move in and move into your next level, depending upon where you are with this soulmate, okay? But that's what I got for you with that on the soulmate. So let's take a look at this fork in the road. What's this fork in the road coming up for Gemini in April? Whoa, this just flew right off the top. Hmm... It's going to turn out positive, regardless of the decision you make. But it's a difficult decision to make. I feel like some of you, it's regarding somebody who's been blocking you off. This is just a... That's been blocking you off or being defensive or difficult to get through to in some way. And you're like, do I stay? Do I go? Do I move on? Do, what do I do? But I feel like it's going to turn out really positive for you nonetheless. Um, and some of you, it's regarding a job that you feel like you're blocked in. You are going to make the decision. You're going to make a decision. And it's going to turn out positive with regarding this fork in the road. Some of you, it's regarding travel. Some of you, it's just communication back and forth. You're just like, what do I do? Clearly. 
And some of you have been feeling like you have to protect yourself or keep people at bay from you for some reason. And it feel like it could be within the workplace. And you're kind of like at this place, like, what do I do? But you are going to make a choice. And it regards, it, it, it's a leap of faith towards it that's going to turn out positively. I see you making a choice, making a decision, and it turns out positive. Regardless of what the particular fork in the road is for you. But keep that in mind, okay? That the sun is shining down on it and you're going to end up really happy with your decision, clearly. And you're clearly taking a leap of faith here. That's awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we have any love advice for Gemini. This is not your love reading. I'm doing the love reading next, okay? So if you guys haven't subscribed, I use my animal tarot deck for the love readings. They're very specific. Um, be sure to click the bell to get notified of them when I upload, okay, um, to get the love reading. This is an overall view, but I'm going to give you a love tarot anyway. What's the message for Gemini regarding because your soulmate showed up in here? So that's exciting. All right, what's the message? Good Lord. Everything just flies out. Focus on love. Look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life. What we, what we think about comes about. What we focus on comes about. So always trying to think about the positives and focus on the positive brings more positives about. So that's your love message for this reading. I'm sending you guys, and oh my God, at the bottom of the deck, we got true love and you got your soulmate card. So you guys know who this person is if it resonates with you, okay? They're coming, clearly. All right, Geminis, thank you so much for joining me. I'm sending you positive energy for all the best as always. If you like a personal reading, email me at illumastrology at gmail.com or go to my website, I'm sorry, www.illumastrology at gmail.com to check out all the different types of readings I have. Um, otherwise, I'm doing your love reading next, so be sure to click the bell to get notified when that uploads. All right, you guys, until next time, thanks so much for joining me. If you found this helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and I always love to hear from you guys, so feel free to leave your comments.